Ever wondered why you are not getting that second date? Or why people seem to avoid you at social gatherings? Well, you might be sabotaging your own appeal without even realizing it. It is not just about your looks. Your habits play a huge role in how attractive you are to others. From the way you stand to the jokes you tell, the smallest things can make the biggest difference. In this video, we will talk about the proven habits that are making you less attractive. By the end of this video, you will understand the subtle yet crucial mistakes you must be making and how to turn them around. Number 12. A bad attitude. Who wants to hang out with someone who is always mean, grouchy, or just plain unpleasant? Your inner ugliness can actually overshadow your physical appearance. A 2014 study in China showed this clearly. Researchers presented the same photos of people with different descriptive words like decent, friendly, nice, and mean. And guess what? The mean tagged photos were consistently rated less attractive. Some of your bad attitude examples could be constantly interrupting others during conversations. It is perceived as disrespectful and shows a lack of interest in what they have to say. Neglecting basic courtesies like please and thank you might seem trivial, but it significantly affects how friendly and approachable you appear. Offering blunt, non-constructive criticism can also come off as mean, as it lacks tact and can be hurtful. Even certain body language cues, like rolling your eyes or avoiding eye contact, can be interpreted as rude or dismissive. Being aware of these subtle cues is crucial to maintaining a positive and attractive demeanor. Number 11. Lack of sleep. Ever wondered what sleep deprivation does to your looks? A lot, actually. A study in 2010 took photos of people who had a full night's sleep and those who hadn't slept for 31 hours. The sleep-deprived group was rated as less healthy and attractive, just like the rude ones. They had droopy eyelids, red eyes, dark circles, and pale skin. In 2013, further research confirmed these findings. So what is enough sleep? Well, it varies. But quality and quantity both matter. Don't just sleep. Sleep well. Your skin, eyes, and overall vibe depend on it. Remember, a well-rested man is an attractive man. Number 10. Bad table manners. You might not think it is a big deal, but how you behave at the dining table can be a deal breaker. A study found that a whopping 86% of women would turn down a second date if the guy had poor table manners on the first. Chewing with your mouth open, speaking with food in your mouth, or slouching over your plate are just a few examples of the no-nos that can send your date running for the hills. Good table manners are more than just etiquette. They are a reflection of your overall personality. So brush up on those dining skills, gentlemen. Number 9. Poor Oral Hygiene no one is thrilled about visiting the dentist, but trust me, it is a must. Imagine you are up close with someone, and they get a glimpse of your not-so-pearly whites, complete with bad breath, gum disease, or a glaring cavity. That is not just off-putting. It is a major turn-off. An unkempt mouth can really drag down your attractiveness. So, make it a priority. Regular dental checkups, brushing, flossing, these aren't just good for your health. They are crucial for your appearance. Remember, a great smile goes a long way toward not being that ugly man. Number 8. Dishonesty Guys, being untruthful doesn't just hurt your integrity, it smashes your attractiveness too. Think about it. Who wants to be around someone they can't trust? Dishonesty, especially in small things, can lead to doubts about your character in bigger matters. So, keep it real. Whether it is on your dating profile or in real life, honesty is your best policy. Exaggerating your job title or achievements might seem like a quick fix, but it is a fast track to being seen as unattractive. Genuine connections are built on trust, and once that trust is broken, it is hard to repair. People are drawn to authenticity. It is a trait that builds deeper, more meaningful relationships. So embrace your true self, quirks and all. It is not just about making a good impression. It is about making a lasting, genuine connection. Stay true to who you are, and you will attract people who appreciate the real you. Number 7. Asymmetrical Features We are naturally drawn to balanced features when the left side mirrors the right. 
If you have some asymmetry, like one shoulder being lower than the other or a slightly uneven facial feature, it can be perceived as less attractive. But don't worry, you don't need to rush for surgery. The trick is in how you dress. If you have a sloping shoulder, for instance, a bit of extra padding in your jacket can work wonders. Take a good look in the mirror and see if there is anything you might not have noticed before. The goal is to use your style to balance out, not highlight, these asymmetries. Number 6. Stress. Guys, it is time to chill out. Stress isn't just bad for your health. It is a killer for your attractiveness, too. High stress equals high cortisol levels, and guess what? Everyone around can sense that. A study showed that stressed-out individuals look a lot less attractive than those who are free from any signs of stress. It is not like people can measure your cortisol levels, but they can definitely see the effects. Stress can make your face look tired, adding dark circles, puffiness, and even early wrinkles. Think about it. A relaxed, easygoing guy always seems more approachable and attractive. So find ways to reduce that stress. Whether it is through exercise, meditation, or just taking some time off, keeping your stress in check is key to maintaining your attractiveness. Number 5. Bad Grammar Believe it or not, grammar matters more than you think. A study involving 5,000 people found that bad grammar is a major turnoff in dating profiles. It ranked higher than most other factors in making a profile look unappealing. So, if you are not a grammar whiz, now is the time to level up. Use spell check, read your sentences out loud, or get a friend to review your profile. Good grammar isn't just for impressing your English teacher. It is important for making a good impression in the dating world, too. So, men, pay attention to your punctuation and sentence structure. It could be the difference between a swipe left or right. Number four, not being creative. Here is a surprising one. Lack of creativity can make you less attractive. Typically, men who don't consider themselves creative are seen as less appealing. Creativity is a huge plus, generally offsetting other less desirable traits. It is seen as a sign of a great long-term partner. So, how do you boost your creativity? It is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Try keeping a journal, learning a musical instrument, picking up a new hobby, or even learning a new language. Anything that gets your creative juices flowing is a step in the right direction. Show off your creative side and you might just find it does wonders for your attractiveness. Number three, not smelling good. Everyone has a natural scent, even if you think you're not wearing any fragrance. And trust me, people notice, especially if it is not a pleasant one. But it is not just about avoiding bad smells. You have got to smell good. Finding the right cologne that complements your natural scent can make a world of difference. It is about more than just slapping on some deodorant. It is about enhancing your overall presence. A great scent can be a game changer, so invest some time in discovering a fragrance that suits you. It is a simple step, but it can prevent you from being that smelly guy and turn you into someone who is remembered for all the right reasons. Number two, self-obsession. We have all met someone who thinks the world revolves around them. Every conversation and every moment has to be about them. But honestly, being self-obsessed is a huge turnoff. Confidence is great, but narcissism? Not so much. It is like a college buddy who could initially charm anyone but soon made it clear that he was the only person he cared about. Don't be that guy. Show interest in others, listen to their stories, and engage in genuine conversations. It is not just about being polite. It is about forming real connections. Remember, being interested in others is far more attractive than only being interested in yourself. Number 1. Poor sense of humor. It turns out that not being funny or just being average in the humor department can make you less attractive. And it is not gender-specific. Both men and women find a poor sense of humor unappealing. Humor is a powerful tool in attraction. The more people laugh together, the stronger their attraction. So work on your jokes, learn to laugh at yourself, and most importantly, enjoy the humor in everyday life. You don't have to make others laugh, but show that you can appreciate the lighter side of life. 
A good laugh can go a long way toward boosting your attractiveness. Conclusion It is not always your looks that make you attractive. It is also your habits. These small changes can make a big difference in your attractiveness. So, take a moment to reflect on these habits and consider which ones you might need to tweak or totally overhaul. If you have made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.